The Great Pyramid of Giza has long been pictured as a massive and beautiful tomb for pharaohs and queens, but latest researches have now revealed the real purpose of the pyramid. In 1998 and 2010, a new theory introduced by Christopher Dunn suggests that the Great Pyramid was actually a highly intelligent design used to generate electricity and transmit it wirelessly across Egypt. Pyramids were not just the places to keep dead bodies of kings and queens safe because a very common thing associated with almost all the tombs found across the world is the inscription. But researchers have not found inscription of any kind in the corridors or chambers of the Great Pyramid. Not only this, no chemical traces of the buried body have been detected inside the granite chest kept in the king's chamber. It was proposed that the mysterious chest was the coffin of the king of Egypt, which is now empty, as his body was stolen. But a close examination of the dimensions and special location of the granite chest inside the pyramid reveals something astonishing. According to researchers, it was possible for the pyramids to generate electricity in large amounts, maybe for all of the Egypt if a highly conductive material was placed in the chest. Historians believe that this superconductor might be the mysterious Ark of the Covenant. It served as a condenser and was capable of emitting deadly lightning bolts. Ark of the Covenant was known as the source of power of Egypt, which was stolen by the prophet Moses when he fled Egypt. The exterior of the Great Pyramid was covered in white limestone tufa, which has good insulating properties. Because of this, it was capable of stopping any kind of electrical leakage from the pyramid. But a different type of limestone was used in stone blocks inside the pyramid that provided good electrical conductivity. But what sources they used to generate enormous amount of power? Actually, large numbers of pink granite blocks have been used for the construction of subterranean chambers and passageways of the pyramid. Granite has high proportion of quartz crystals and also slightly radioactive properties. The quartz found in granite is famous for its piezoelectric characteristics. But how does this piezoelectric property work? Actually, certain materials like quartz can generate electric charge when mechanical stress is applied. Quartz watches use this property. According to researchers, the longest river in the world, the River Nile, flowed through the area of the pyramids thousands of years ago. So, it was believed that the powerful water currents of River Nile were used to generate required pressure on the granite stone, having piezoelectric property. This also explains why pyramids had vast network of underground chambers and tunnels made of granite. Let me tell you that granite also has electromagnetic properties and can ionize the surrounding air, which helps in increasing its electrical conductivity. The piezoelectric current produced was conducted upwards from the underground chambers of granite directly into the interior chambers of the pyramid covered with granite. Due to this current, an electromagnetic field was created at the pyramid base. This electromagnetic field was transmitted in a concentrated way to the upper layers of the pyramid. So, this was the way how the electricity was generated in large amounts inside the Great Pyramid. Now, we will understand how this generator electricity was transmitted wirelessly from the pyramid. According to historians, there was a pyramid-shaped piece of gold placed at the top of the Great Pyramid of Giza, which is now missing. The pyramids have the property that they can store electrical charge. As I already mentioned, the exterior of the Great Pyramid was covered with insulating white limestone tufa, so no leakage of electrical charge was possible through it. But if excess electric charge was produced in the pyramid, it was released through the pyramid-shaped piece of gold placed at the pyramid top. As we know, gold is an excellent conductor of electricity, so it provided highly conductive path for the transfer 
of negative ions towards the ionosphere. This was how the transfer of wireless electricity took place through the Great Pyramid. According to the great scientist Nikola Tesla, our planet Earth acts as a plate of huge spherical capacitor and the outer layer of the Earth's atmosphere called the ionosphere is the other plate of the capacitor. This system is known as the Earth Ionosphere Capacitor EIC model. The Earth's surface acts as the negative plate of the capacitor and the ionosphere as the positive plate. It has been estimated that there is a potential difference of nearly 400,000 volts between the Earth and the ionosphere. Actually, the voltage created by the electric field grows 100 volts per meter in height. So, at the top of the pyramid, Earth's electric field reaches to its maximum, both in value and density. This results in the availability of 14,600 volts of potential at the top of the pyramid. Although it is illegal nowadays to climb to the top of the pyramid. But in the 19th century, Sir William Simmons, who was a German engineer, managed to climb to the pyramid top. At the top, some strange things happened. When the Simons raised his index finger, he felt tingling sensation arising from the fingertip and reaching to his hand. Many other weird things also happened there that indicate electrical discharge at the top of the pyramid. Not only this, the Great Pyramid can also concentrate electromagnetic energy. A research was published by a group of Russian scientists on the Great Pyramid of Giza in the year 2018. The research was about the resonance response of the Great Pyramid when it interacts with the radio waves. They used the medium wave band of the electromagnetic spectrum having wavelength between 200 and 600 meters for the study. After research, the scientists concluded that under resonance conditions, electromagnetic energy is concentrated in the internal chambers and below the base of the Great Pyramid. The internal chambers are the king's and queen's chambers. Researchers say that this indigenous ancient technique of concentrating electromagnetic waves in the Great Pyramid of Giza can be used in future to design highly efficient sensors and solar cells. But for this, we need to apply the same concept in the optical range of the electromagnetic wave spectrum. But now the question arises, for what purpose the Egyptians used this wireless electricity? Based on many images found on the walls of the pyramids, it appears that Egyptians used it for wireless electrical lamps for lighting purpose. Some evidences suggest that they used it even for wireless communication with the help of antennas. Not just Egypt, such advanced ancient technologies have also been found in other civilizations all over the world. Many super advanced technologies like sonic levitation and anti-gravity are mentioned in different scriptures of various religions. When we look at the incredible architecture of ancient buildings, we can easily understand how deep their knowledge of science was. It would not be wrong to say that some of the ancient civilizations were more advanced as compared to our 21st century, but they become extinct with time. Primitive and advanced civilizations have lived throughout the history side by side. For example, in the modern time too, we may see many primitive tribes in the forests of Amazon, in the African continent and other parts of the world. So friends, we saw the advanced technology of ancient Egyptians who used the Great Pyramid of Giza to generate enormous amount of electricity and transmit it wirelessly throughout the Egypt. Guys, if you found the video interesting and useful, then please like, share and subscribe. Thanks for watching.